well, if nothing else, the outside of the steel box has been cooked. Oh, those fish are okay in there. Still smoking away. Potatoes are ready up in the house. Beetroot, garlic. Fine day at the summer house. Blue skies. 20 degrees centigrade. A little bit of wind. Keeps the mosquitoes away. They don't fly. Which is good. I'm going to be smoking some moiko today. I bought a smoker. Let's go and see what it looks like. I've been using the chainsaw to cut up some lepa. Dark alder. I've been putting into this the bottom of this box, which will be for smoking. So the box should have alder chips down the bottom, a little bit of juniper leaves, and two sugar cubes to give a nice brown colour. I'm going to get some juniper a couple of sugar cubes and put them in there as well. Three sprigs of juniper down the bottom as well. And I've got to get the sugar cubes. And on top of this goes out a drip pan for collecting any stuff that drips off the fish. There's no sugar lump, so I'm just going to scatter some brown sugar in there. It's supposed to be for colouring. Now put in a drip tray with holes in it so the smoke can come up through it and grooves. Then I'm going to collect any grease. So that's it. Just need to put a grill on top of it now. Those are the fish. They're moiku from uh, Vesiarri. And they've been in sugar and salt and garlic and pepper overnight. Now I close up the box and put it on the fire. And in half an hour they should be ready. Golden brown. And lovely to eat. It's the first time cooking so I don't know. <laughs> With this smoke box, we'll see what the end results are. We'll have them with new potatoes, some sickly. So that's the smoke box on the fire. Give it half an hour. Well, it seems to be smoking quite nicely. I think it might have been too hot. But, uh, that's looking quite nice. Can you see that smoke coming out? Or you need to be a distance away. So, first time trying the smoker box, stainless steel, made in Finland. Nice smell. Smoking oil is here, lovely. Now we're going for the money shot, the artistic shot.
should better be good. the plate. I haven't touched them yet but hopefully they taste good. Oh done. Oh eaten. Success. Now you're asking yourself what does cooking fish have to do with gardening? Well I'll tell you what it's got to do with gardening. Just look at this stuff in here. That looks to be like biochar, which I'm now going to put on those potentilla up there. So, not only do you cook a nice tasty meal, you also get biochar from it, from those shavings. Woohee! Result! <laughs>